Application UI is defined in terms of pages and views. Recall that the app.cs file is the starting point for your application, and it will identify the main page for that application. Pages are used to describe a single screen for your application. Then we add in views, which represent the individual controls or widgets that the user will interact with. Page represents a single screen in your application, and your application will always have at least one of these. This is an abstract class, and there are several derived types that are used for a variety of purposes. One of the main page types you will use is the Content Page class, which is used to hold a single piece of content assigned through a property named Content. Most apps will subclass Content Page for each screen they create, and this is actually the default page added into your app. Next, we have Master Detail Page. This has two properties, master and detail, which are assigned to pages, typically content page objects. This page then manages displaying the other two pages together, sliding the details out based on the is presented property, true equals master page is visible, false equals detail page is visible. On a tablet device with more screen real estate, the system will allow both master and detail pages to be displayed at the same time. Navigation page enables typical stack-based navigation with a navigation bar header where you push child pages onto the stack and they become the active page. Popping them off then restores the previous page. The constructor for this page type takes the initial child page to display and just adding this into your app causes your application to get a native navigation bar. Tabbed page allows you to switch between a set of child pages, again typically content page objects through a tab bar running on the top or bottom of the UI based on the platform. The child pages are all added to the children collection and can have a title and an icon associated with them. There is also support for overflow if too many tabs are added and the device does not have the capability to display them all at once. The carousel page enables swiping left or right to change from one page to the next, similar to the pages in an ebook. Like the tab page, the pages are set into a children collection and this page class navigates between them. Next, you will populate your pages with views. These are typical controls you have used in other UI frameworks and all of the common ones you'd expect for a mobile platform are present here. The Xamarin Forms controls you use to describe the UI are really just a model definition. At runtime, each platform, iOS, Android, and Windows Phone, We'll take the object graph you create and turn it into a native representation using native platform-specific controls. The piece of code that does this is called the renderer. Each control you use in Xamarin Forms, including custom ones you might build yourself, must have a platform renderer registered for it, which will create the appropriate visualization based on the properties set on the control. For example, if we create a Xamarin Forms button and set the text property to Click Me, then on Android, the Android platform renderer will take that definition and create an Android widget button in response. On iOS, the iOS platform renderer will take that definition and turn it into a UI button. And on Windows Phone, the WP8 renderer will create a system Windows button. The important thing here is that you define the UI in a shared fashion once but you get a native UI on each platform that looks and feels natural to that platform.